how you guys? Hashtaggers, welcome to another episode of Hashtag. Uh, we do have a guest for y'all today. We're missing one of our hosts, but that's okay. He'll be back next week. So, you know who it is, your girl Tiffany Noko. Go ahead and follow me on Instagram. Check out all my stuff on there. Uh, we got some real good topics for y'all. We with the shit today. Uh, so, we're going to go ahead and roll in Chris, and then we'll let y'all know about our guest. Great. It's your girl, Chrissy Vett. It's Wisecracking Wednesday. Like Tiff said, we're here to talk a whole bunch of shit, hence the Wisecracking. You can find me here um, on Instagram at Shershay underscore La underscore Chris, not churches, nigga, not churches like the chicken. <laughs> okay. And we have a guest. So, what's up with okay. this guest? Okay. All right. So, our guest today. Um, you guys may have seen him on Instagram. I'm not too sure if you've ever heard of the Texas Fit Boot Camp. That is him, a uh, fitness mogul, you know what I'm saying, up in here posting his thirst traps on Instagram yeah. and stuff. So y'all make sure y'all go hit him on that. But we have Atari. Again, he is of the Texas Fit Boot Camp. What's going on? Hey, what's up, guys? Glad to be here. It's kind of last minute, but... um. Yeah, I'm here. Follow me on Instagram at Atari, A-T-A-R-A-G. Um, you can see other thirst straps over there. And motivation, motivation purposes. <laughs> we are so happy that you are here. <laughs> yeah, I'm glad to be here too. Um, I told her I got a lot to get off my chest. Oh, Great. okay. Well, we're having one of those shows today. Anywho, no, we do this with all of our guests who are here. You have to tell our followers a little bit about you, you know, what you started um how did you start with fitness what motivated you to start a little bit of the backstory because okay, not too much to, right you know not everything um, as, as a matter of fact elijah can you pull up his instagram and scroll through it a little bit uh we want to see some some pictures of his fitness stuff that he has going on yeah let's take a look at that yeah no oh but in the meantime tell us <laughs> you want a full full story I mean, or the maybe give us like the, notes. Notes. like the cliff notes like the cliff notes we like that well um, oh <laughs> <laughs> What's happening? Uh, <laughs> I don't see a thigh. Oh, my <laughs> goodness. I've never had to look at my page like this outrageous. before. Wow. Yeah, these are Whoa. definitely thirst You are thirst trapping. Whoa. Up in <laughs> Who is that? Wow. That Did is he go Whoa. flat his phone to record himself? Whoa. Wow. <laughs> That's crazy. So he really with the fitness <gasps> life, you guys. Oh my if you don't start goodness. talking about yourself at all. <laughs> <laughs> I cannot. A, I can. He, he has a who um Cam? Yeah, I know. He goes to school. Wait, how old are you? Sixteen. Oh snap! Yeah, man, he's a hooper. We uh we both shoot for Active Faith, so that's that's how I know him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he's still sixteen. He got real tall. like this. Yeah. It's crazy, right? How does that happen, man? That stuff is crazy. It's like God just knows who's meant to be a basketball player and just like. Anyway, so sorry, we I was had I got enough of the thirst trap yeah we can okay. we can close. <laughs> we had <laughs> enough. <laughs> but um yeah, so my story is kind of weird. I never um I guess I kind of started on the other end of the fitness side. I've always been bigger than you know all my peers, and um I found myself being completely overweight at one point, and um. I was just like, long story short, you know, I got to get this off, man. I got to get this off me. And um, it was for multiple reasons. You know, there was the health reasons, uh, you know, blood pressure and stuff like that. Um, and then generally, I've always liked to wear nice fitted clothes. So that was like one of my main motivations. And then one summer, I got a chance to go out of town uh, to D.C. actually for three months. Shout out, DMV. So. And then that's where my weight loss journey started. I lost 50 pounds in those three months. So Damn. when I came back, yeah, it was crazy. I was like, we could, uh, we could talk about that later. Yeah. I was doing a whole bunch of stuff, you know, and uh, everything was okay. Everything was legal. Oh. And, uh, <laughs> oh. and so after that, you know, I came back, and then that's when the boot camp kind of started. And so since then, it's been like five, six years. We've been running boot camps at – we started at George Bush Park in the southwest – and then we came closer to the middle of the city at Herman Park. And it was free for the first four to five years. And we just started charging $10 a month. And we just did that because, you know, we want, we want, we're trying to eliminate as many excuses as we can um, in a city where, you know, 
obesity is at the highest highest rate so we're trying to lay as many excuses as we can for people to be fit mm-hmm. and so we do the boot camp every saturday and um that is actually kind of what drove my personal brand as well and what she's calling thirst trapping but it's mm-hmm. you know more of motivation and you know um sell my i do fitness online fitness plans okay. and so a lot of those videos and photos gets people to kind of um get engaged and ask questions and oh how did you do this how did you get from this to that i post a lot of before and after is um and that really just gets people people's attention it makes people believe that they can do it and then from there we can go from there and see you know can i make you a plan can i you know can you come to my boot camp can we work out one-on-one we'll figure something out and go from there so hmm. that is my short story that's really good that's Great really story. good it's a lot of motivation in those pictures for sure it is but you know what guys have it easy though because guys lose weight faster because they have less body fat True. women it's a whole Whew, it's a whole thing with us. Mm. But with y'all, it's just like, guys can do one thing. It's like, change the way they eat. Boom. I lost 50 pounds in two months. It's like, God damn. Mm, some guys. Most men. Mm. Not all. Some. Most. The, I, don't, I guess Most the ones men. who really want to lose weight, it, mm. it's more easy for them, I would say. It's, <laughs> it's, it's easier for a man to lose weight than it is for a woman. This is fact. This is, that is a fact, though. That's fact. And I, we, we, we have, can pull so it up we right have now. Way it's funny how y'all so quick to agree to that, because though. Because we have way more body fat than that's men. That's a legit fact, First though. of all, I mean, like, we have more body But fat you know what's crazy? Period. Men generally weigh more than women. Yeah, but and your so, weight is more muscle. It's it's most times more muscle than it is Some fat. Sometimes, trust me, this doesn't work for everybody. <laughs> <laughs> like y'all when you say that it under undermines the kind of work that people like me did because even okay. till now i sorry. can't just i can't it's just no, I'm, not, I'm not mad but <laughs> i'm just saying till now i can't just like not do nothing and and stay like this like in two weeks i'm seeing gonna be work. i'm seeing my face getting bigger again my like i, I gotta keep working and i actually have to work harder to keep it up and That's so, true. as opposed okay. to somebody who was born with, uh, you know, quick metabolism and like, that's why I said some guys. There are some guys um, I've seen athletes that are just born like that. Like they they don't even go to the weight room. Like they may, they skip working out and they just look like you know a statue. And so a lot sometimes it's really just genes. A lot of times, like your parents can either hinder you or propel you to having the best body of your life. Thanks, mom. <laughs> I mean, some people, you know, some people's parents gave them the, Thanks, the gift mom. of thickness, you know what I mean? Um, and then there are uh, some people's uh, parents who gave them the gift of being fit and having abs, and those same girls are praying to have that thickness that the other girls have, you know? And then the thick girls are like, oh, I want the abs that you have. So it's like, you know, you can't have it all. Child, I'm in the middle because I'm Fupa Texas and so. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> Fupa summer. What up? <laughs> what up, though? Fupa. I'm all about this fupa life. Oh yeah, you Let me tell it. you, like men tend to have more lean muscle tissue, which builds, which burns more calories than. Body WebMD fat. is questionable. Well, we'll we'll WebMD is questionable. We'll take it. Is true. Look, and when men and women cut the same number of calories, men usually do lose more weight, but it's ah! short term. Long story it's, short, it's, it's all long relative. Story I'm gonna short, tell you what the, I'm gonna tell you what the relation is. Long story right. short, it's all it's all relative. I'm, I'm gonna tell you what the relation is. The relation is how much weight you have to lose. Woo. The more weight you have to lose, the easier it God. is, right? So That's if I was true. if I was 300 pounds and if you were 150 pounds, it would take me a lot quicker to lose 50 pounds than it would take you to lose That's 50 pounds, true, though. right? So yeah. that's really the main correlation. But yes, men men do have a an advantage over women in those things. That's why we don't compete in the same sports. That's why we don't, you know. It's true, yes. Mm. All right, we're going to. I agree. <laughs> okay, we're going to end that off of that, okay? Because, <laughs> listen, I can't relate. I just told y'all where I'm at on the spectrum. So, anywho, we're going to get into our topics. We are definitely going to come back to um, Atari, and he's going to let you guys know more about how you can, one, sign up for his fitness plans, the online meal plans that he provides, and also a little bit more about the boot camp because uh, quite a few of our followers are, excuse me, yes, our followers are here in Texas. So, if you guys ever want to come out to the boot camp, let me tell you, it's the real deal, okay? I almost died twice. Um, but we, <laughs> we're going to roll into our topic. And the first one is, I know you guys have all seen it this Sunday. 
the BET Awards. I don't know which one this is, but I know it's this past Sunday. It was hosted by Regina Hall. Shout out to my girl, Regina Hall, because first of all, sis got a fat ass. I knew this beforehand, but I just definitely confirmed when she was on stage. It was a lot of highlights. You late, bro. <laughs> like, <laughs> it was a lot of highlights from the show, okay? We want to share our personal favorites, what happened. I personally thought this was one of the better um, BET Award shows than it, it has been in the the past yeah, couple of nice. years. Uh, I but I want to know y'all thoughts. Come on, guess. Um, loved Offset and Cardi B. Did, Did you really? Definitely loved it. Okay. Wow. Um, come on, I chef. mean, come on, man. I mean, she came out of nowhere on this nigga. That came out She of came nowhere. out of nowhere. It did. I mean, I, I, don't, I, don't, I mean, I don't know about her. I liked what she wore. I don't know about the details. Maybe you guys can help me out a little bit more in that if it was nice or not. I what she wore was fitting because it sometimes was. I feel like she wears shit. And her, the way her body, like, all the work that she's done to her body, it does not look as flattering as I The only thing they is that titties. It doesn't no. look as flattering <laughs> as I think. I mean, like, I don't know. Other people may like it. I personally don't think it's very flattering. But I think, like, what she wore complemented the surgeries that she's had. Well, we can come back to her surgery talk later. I didn't know about any of that. But what? as far as the, the awards itself... Okay. Like we were talking about. Oh, do you all want to talk about her body? No. <laughs> See, like, we, we, we'll, we'll talk Pelosi more about that later. Fitness. I thought she only had her titties done. But recently I've been seeing some pictures of her and I was like, her ass she looks kind of weird. She had her weird. abs done. She had her titties done. She had a butt, butt done. Lift, yeah. She recently probably had though, some right? shit done to her face. She's like, a, oh, know? butt lift? Just a lift? Is no, it, like is the fat transfer. Like the fat transfer. A transfer? Yeah. That's, that's acceptable. In my book, yes. In my book, I, I I mean, don't quote me. Guys, I mean, I don't listen. In my book, if you're gonna do one surgery, if I was gonna pick one out of the million crazy surgeries that would be, I'd say it's fat transfer because at least you're doing, you know, you're moving it around, you know, you're doing something with it, and then, you know, after that you could pick up on the workout grind, you know, start working out. If there was one <laughs> surgery that I'd agree with, it'd be that, and of course, titties, titties is fine too. But wow. you just want all of it to be perfect, huh? No, I'm saying, I'm saying, no, 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 I'm saying, you know how people are like against, generally against people I'm not against enhancing it. their body. Oh, I'm so why do you make that, no, why no, do you make that face about I Curtis just body? Say, I, I didn't no, say anything. No, 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 no one made no, a me. face. I've been drinking. I made beer. a face. I made a you face. You made a face. I, I, I stated it before I made the face though. I don't think like mm. the work that she's had done is as flattering as some people may think. Okay, so I you have I think her ass looks terrible. I think her titty job is terrible. And those abs that she got done, I think they look terrible too. I think like. All of the surgery that she's had, it was like she's had a lot of back like alley time. surgery. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? It, it was. wasn't like, like you know, dude. like okay, like somebody who has their uh, titties done. Evelyn, Evelyn Lazota, is that her last Lizotta. name? She had her titties done. Her titties look amazing. Well, like Evelyn I would go to her doctor. So your issue with Cardi is the work, the the quality right. of the work. The I have nothing. <laughs> I have nothing uh, negative to say about her getting gotcha. the surgery. You know what I'm saying? Like it is what it is. But, but she said she got her butt done back in the day. In the yeah, back alley. You know how to go. Anyway, uh, back to the performance. Yeah. <laughs> um, I loved their performance. I loved that Offset was actually performing. I have. I did enjoy that. I have I an agree. issue with Migos from the first time that I seen them perform. They don't perform. I they, heard all they do they is just show their jewelry. The first time I saw them perform was at the Ava Center, like in two thousand and maybe like eleven. Damn you old. So I know, right? <laughs> I was working. Wow. I was working with. The, I've been working with Ava Center since I was like eighteen. So it was kind of random. Hmm. So anyway, um. They were just performing, and all they were doing just literally smoking blunt after blunt and blunt and just walking around the stage holding yeah. the mic. Mm -hmm. And so to see Offset actually dancing with a group of guys and doing all that, I love that he actually went out of his way to put on a good show. I liked the performance. I loved Cardi B's solo part. She hit the wall. Anything has to do with the wall, that's Houston. So that was lit. Mm -hmm. um, and then, yeah, Regina was funny. Um the, um, I think all of QC's artists don't know how to perform. Even City Girls came up and she didn't sound wow. like she wanted to be there. That's the whole thing but with City Girls. Lil Baby came on just to rap into. I don't think any of QC's artists know how to perform, but they do know how to make money. They do know how to make good music. I just don't think any of his artists know how to perform. And that was confirmed in BET Awards because they all performed. What? Except, Yo except Yachty. He did. Maybe performed twice. He no, did. I seen Dub Baby. Except, I didn't see except Lil Baby. Except Yachty. No, Lil Baby did. You know? okay, I, I didn't see all, we I'm, big on, we, I'm big we, on performance. We're not going to have no Lil Baby slander because I like Lil Baby. He's like one of the newer rappers that I, like I actually baby. like. He, the baby is a little ignorant. I so him. I have to, you know, he's like one of the ones I need to tap on the shoulder. Like, listen, calm down. Because I, I was that. watching him when he was doing the um, 
on the XXL magazine when they was doing like the negative comments. Every time he read me, he's like, I'll beat your ass. <laughs> it's like, true. Cal- calm down. Yeah. Calm down. I can respect <laughs> like, someone like just, that, though. Just relax. But um, so I, I thought that the show was good. The highlight for me was Tyler Perry. Tyler Perry yeah, that was a good came speech. up there and gave a fucking word. Like, literally, I'm going to listen to that every single morning of my life. It was a word. It was so inspirational. As far as the performances, um, I did like the the Cardi B one. And I mainly liked it because I just like to see Offset dance. Like, I really enjoyed watching was, him dance. It was, it was so cool. enjoyable. And the main reason why is because I've also seen them in concert. And their uh, performance Sucks. was not good. It was not good at all. Like, Great they literally music. just walked around the Man, stage high as fuck. <laughs> at one point, I thought Takeoff was going to fall asleep on stage. Like, terrible. they were so high. Mm. So, I did. Um, they, did they did that. a random two step at the end. I appreciated that. I'd never seen them do anything more than a two step in my life. So, I that really was cool. And see, Offset actually has a dancing background. I don't know if y'all yeah. know that. He actually yeah. has a dancing background. And I think does, I think so. they finally convinced him to get out, come out of the shell and do it. It's cool. Look at uh, look at um, Chance the Rapper. Like, he's doing cool stuff. I he's dancing. It. He's, you know. I feel M- a way MC about Beasy, that. MC um, Beasy out of Houston. He's dancing that, like you know rappers Taco are Bell doing. Con- commercial. That, is that Taco Bell? With Voice of Men. Chance the rapper. It's so random. Yeah, is I think it is. Is that, that Taco I Bell? Felt, I felt the way. I the one where he was rapping Bell. on the beat. Rapping yeah, on the I song? felt the way because I felt like you just kind of went in there and mimicked Wayne a little bit. So I felt the way about that. Wayne. But we ain't gonna get it. We're not. First of all, we're not going to get into that. No, 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 no. I'm agreeing with you. Okay. Wayne. Every rapper in the game. Mimics Wayne. I felt the way. Oh. I felt the way. Not even, <laughs> let's not even. I don't know about every rapper, Every but he, big major he rapper is a child. What's of in your Lil cup, Wayne, brother? Is a child <laughs> of Lil Wayne. You I can explain it now. I can explain it later. Is it the hair? Is it the singing, rapping? Is it is it Young Thug? Is it Lil First Uzi? of all, it was niggas singing, rapping gunna? before Wayne. Who? Ja Rule. Ja Rule was okay, showing. Before... Ja Rule was out here singing rapping. Who was the first Wayne? person? I didn't say he was the first one. No, who was the first person high pitched singing? Who was the first rapper high pitched singing? It was not singing? Wayne. Who it was, was it? not Wayne. Wayne was not the first one over here. Oh, I didn't even have this. Was right. this nigga, Wayne man, came up with listen, a rock album. Listen, Do you ever remember audience. this? Yeah, uh, I what do you remember, say? Yeah, Wayne was I the first the one album. to. So, every know, rapper calls himself a rock star right now. Am I lying? Wayne was the first one to call himself a rock star. He was the first rapper. Yeah. Every I don't know rapper. About this. Future, ah. Gunna, Young that. Thug, Lil Uzi, they're always Let's, children. We still talking about the BET yeah. Wars, though. I disagree. But it's okay. That's we going to go do. back to the beat. So my favorite per- my favorite performance of the night was her. I was just about to say her she, and YBN whatever. Y- Which Corday, YBN? Corday. I don't know how Baby, I feel about Baby, she went out there and <laughs> so many of them. did her thing. Corday is, can spit his ass off. Best one. That was that the was best performance. That was my first time hearing him. He, yeah, he, he's the most you. unexpected like spitter you ever seen in your life. Because the rest of the guys on his label are kind of like, they just kind of rap about whatever. They're always in the streets doing whatever. He's like the only woke one, really. That was the best performance, hands down. It was for me. Best personally one. yeah best one best period okay right so let's cut into this because we kind of spent a little time on we spent quite a bit of time beforehand but anywho um a lot of people first of all tyler perry had the he got the bloop, 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 icon ultimate icon award and then mary j blige was also um honored and she received the lifetime achievement award and i enjoyed her performance as i always do because i like to see her do that little scuffle but um so good. yes scuffle Let's address this because a lot of people asked me a lot of comments about Nipsey Hussle's mom. And I felt a way because people, I feel as though people were kind of, because people were like, she, what she was saying was weird. She's off. She needs therapy. Like she needs to get help. Y'all are so, I feel like you're intentionally missing what she's saying because what she said was clear as day. Like that lady is not crazy. I mean, she's, she's different, you know, from, I guess what you would generally think that a mom or something would get up and say and how she's, how she handled the situation. But there's nothing wrong with that lady what she was saying was is that your body and your spirit or how should i say your body will can die but your spirit still remains is this is what she was saying essentially well i think at the end of the day if your third eye isn't awoken and your chakras aren't aligned as someone who i feel like i'm very in tune with my spiritual side i completely understood what she was saying um however for people who aren't on that frequency and who don't want to be or who don't want to understand. The thing is you have to want understanding in order to seek it. You understand? (laughs) See how that all circles up? You understand. So if you want understanding, you have to be able to seek it and know, you know what? I don't understand what this lady is saying, but let me look deep within and try to see if I can Mm -hmm. 
figure it out. I think people take things so literally oh. nowadays yeah. and for face value. So it's like, okay, this lady's crazy. But it's like, it, it's a whole thing. But I feel like I think she was legit. I think what she was her and her spiritual awakening, I think is valid. Every time yeah. she gets up and speaks, yeah. it's she's very in tune with that. Yeah. And if you're not in tune with that, you're not going to understand. And that's okay. We not knocking y'all either. But at the same time, you ain't got to be sitting here talking a whole bunch of whole shit about it either. Right. I mean, shit. Now, people always want to comment on shit they don't understand. That's how I feel. I definitely so. think people did not take the time to understand it and more so Good. because they don't want to. And mm. then also because they're just not aligned with themselves and their chakras and the understanding of afterlife and so on and so forth. Because I understood exactly what, what she was saying. What did you understand from what she was saying? <sighs> wow. Anywho, we're going to go to the next topic because we don't have time to continue right. to go into that. <laughs> We don't have time to keep t- continue to go into that. Uh, we have uh, several topics. Uh, so that was the end of that. Anybody else have something to say outside of that last? Oh, question? Giannis, um, his speech when he won, I cried. That BT Awards. What that BT Awards? No. Well, what the fuck was I watching? That's NBA Awards. <laughs> oh goddamn! Oh yeah, you they, know I was well, they flipping. Did, they did I was just flipping have that. the shit. My they just bad. Had that too. Yeah, they just had it. My bad, BT. I was flipping the shit. But it's yeah. okay. Um, Giannis, like that shit really touched me though when he got up there. He couldn't, even, he could barely talk, and I was like, mm-hmm. God damn, you know, I feel for the boy though. So yeah, yeah, it's great. He, it deser- great. he deserved it. I yeah. didn't watch that, so yeah, yeah sorry. Yeah. But BT was cool. I mean, Tyler Perry. Let's just be clear, and I'm just looking at this from the business aspect. Of course, he was going to win the Icon Award. For one, he just got taken away from OWN. Bees, he just bought him out from OWN. They're about to open. Oh, they're yeah. about to do that streaming service that's about to be big shit. So, yeah, Tyler Perry, the man. So, I'm pretty sure he negotiated, like, look, what's up? Y'all going to give me the Icon Award, too? He, not saying he didn't deserve it. Yeah. I think he did as well, but a lot of times people yeah. do that with awards, though. Yeah, but, no. I fuck with Tyler. Yeah, it was yeah. great. Tyler, Tyler, uh, Tyler's amazing. His work is questionable, but I fuck with him as a person. I yeah, depending. There, 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 there was there was like rumors of him in the past, and you know, right? Was, I don't want yeah, let no, you know no, what I, don't, I, don't, I still I, don't, I believe him. I don't know if I want to say anything negative about Tyler right now. I fully believe him. I, 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 I don't, I I don't know if I want to like say anything negative. I believe him. Although there's some things that he's done as far as like the the movies and the plays and stuff that I don't necessarily. How should I say? Like, you know Mm-mm. what I'm saying? It's not really Mm-mm. up my alley, Mm-mm. but I respect him for the simple fact that he gives opportunities to black creatives. That's why I didn't you know, know I'm, he I'm had his own studio. Yeah, yeah, he has his own yeah. Warner Bros. Basically, yeah. No, it's well, well this I mean, happened. essentially, well, it's it's, a, it's like a Warner Bros. Studio. No, no, no. Yeah, it's a yeah big it is. What happened was he actually when he got started, he had a deal with Lionsgate. For a long time. Right. So it was like Tyler Perry Studios, Lionsgate. You know how they do the little opening mm-hmm. credits. They be outrageous now. That's how it was. But then he actually bought out his contract. And Sweet. He, Sweet. Yeah. You know. Yeah, he has his own. It's right the there in downtown. Oh. Um, is it? That's not In downtown. the hood. It's down there with all of those other studios and shit where that big park mm-hmm. is. I loved uh, Mary J's performance. I loved Lil' Kim's part. Met the man just fine. Lil I Kim. know. Jesus Christ. Yeah, he, he's, down, aging. Like, he's hey. aging perfect. Ugh. I need a man that age like that. I love that. He he rough, but then he he, mm-hmm. he still look like he smell good now. <laughs> <laughs> like, not the man is that guy where it's like he can speak very eloquently, but then be like, "Babe, shut up." Right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like, like like, like common. Right. Yeah, come yeah. like common. No, uh, no, nah. no, Met the no, man is a no, different no. swag. He's de- definitely different. Common's cool. Who do you prefer? Common is cool, but that's a different. That's a totally different swag, though. Yeah, because it's like because Met got that. Common like, got a little more grown swag. Or he got a little bit more of that like grimy he's bald, behind so. him. Yes. Common don't have like that. that like bit. Method is very. He's very put Jesus. together. He's very put together. This you know nigga. what I'm saying? Right. But oh. it's still on the back end. Like you know, he's from the hood. Right. Look at what these right. And that's what and that's what the ladies like. Exactly. Love gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Anyway, uh, anyway okay. <laughs> 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 Anywho. Anywho. Um, okay, so moving, right, moving, moving along, moving along. So we're going to dip a little bit into Willow Smith and what she had to say on Red Table Talk, okay? And we're going to touch on it a little bit. And I and I was a little, um, how should I say, intrigued by it because I was watching the, the comments and we kind of touched on something similar to this in the past. Yeah, we have. But anywho, she uh, said on Red Table Talk they were having their show, and between her, Jada, and the mom, I don't, I'm sorry, I don't know her mom's name. They just call her Gammy. But anywho, um, so essentially what she said was she went out, went on to say that she saw uh, marriage and monogamy as is steeped in ownership, and mm. that she is uh, definitely open to 
polygamy and also that she's bisexual and so her grandmother kind of uh you know felt a way about that because she's old school and she felt like you should be with a man and i wouldn't do the whole open relationship open marriage thing for those of you who do not know what polygamy is it is when you have uh when you have several spouses married spouses it could be man or woman man and man woman and woman we don't get fucked you got several spouses is what we're saying so my whole question around that is i want to know how many people are actually open to having a polygamous relationship well i'll say this well for one polygamy no polyamory that's different um am i oh i'll say this i'm i know friends that are poly that are actually with polygamy and people that do polyamory so if you do polygamy that's more of you married like you're married and whatever polyamory you just dating multiple people but y'all have a understanding you know what i'm saying me personally i wouldn't do it but i get it and i a part of me is like you know what i have to sit and think about my ancestors and how in my ancestors and in my homeland they did not have one wife they did not. They did not. So this was not ingrained in us. This is more of a westernized ideology of our, ideology. Our of ancestors marriage. also did a whole bunch of other crazy shit. Hmm? This is true. What? Our ancestors they also did a whole no, bunch of did. crazy no, other they, shit. They did. However, I mean, there's some crazy no. stories in Africa about how you find out if a woman is a virgin or not. Yes, like, it is. Trust me. So it is. However, but certain. That don't mean things, we got to do the same shit they did. I, I'm not saying that. What I'm saying is sometimes things are ingrained in us. Sometimes being with one person isn't. It's, it's funny not we just had everybody. this conversation. So, but so for me personally, would I practice it? No, but I understand friends of mine, really good friends of mine who have polyamorous relationships. I get it. And they have a perfect understanding and they got it. Is the shit for me? No, but I mean, I respect it. And yeah. her being bi at the age she's at is like, that's, that's cool. Shit, you ain't right. 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 On, that's though. what I wanted to she's say 18. with that too. I, I like Willow. I like Willow. I will not have any Willow slander. Okay? I feel like she is very, very mature for her age and she's very... Uh, tuned into who, who she, she is, is yeah. and what she likes. You know what I'm saying? Obviously, she's 18. She has a lot of growing to do, but I feel like she's very in tune with herself. And then for those people who are like, she's so young, she don't know. That girl yeah, is 18 know. years old. She know what the fuck she like and what she don't like. Know. Shut up. Shut up. Shut you, up. You know. When your little ass was 12 and you was around here kissing boys, you knew you like boys, didn't you? Well, Shut your ass up. Straight, straight <laughs> Shut it up, okay? Right. Yes, Stop trying to tell people that they don't know what they like because you think that they're young or you don't agree with their opinion, so you're trying to make maturity a part of the fucking situation. First of all, let's get on that, too, because motherfuckers can be old as hell and still immature. I know a lot of those. Period. A lot of those. Age does not mature you, okay? No. You either are mature or you're not. And age don't got nothing to do with it. Yes, you over um, here perturbed. Um, I see What's <laughs> I'm, going on? I'm Nigerian, so if I was to say my, you know, oh, we would like my advice hear. based on that, like, it's just going to Oh, we like, would love to hear your advice. Be the on most that. sexist, the most freaking just discriminatory thing ever. Not discriminatory. Because we're very judgmental people. Mm. Um, homosexuality is actually a crime in Nigeria. I know. If you practice it openly, you get arrested. And so, based on that, you know, obviously, but I don't know, man. It's a lot happening in the world right now. I don't know what could actually surprise me. I don't know if I can hear or see anything that can actually surprise me. And for her, my only my only thing is that I feel like she's all over the place. I mean, polygamy, you don't know if you like a man or a woman. So, basically, you're just open. She likes men and women. Okay, so you like men and women, and you want to date multiple men and women. But so, I, you just no, want to no, do no, it no, all, no, basically. No, no, What she said is that, actually, exactly what, what she like. said. I'll quote her. She said, a man and a woman, that's all I need. So, she's not trying to, so have, like, to have, like, three. several men and several women. She's like, if she has both a man and a woman, she's okay with that. But also, if you go back and listen to the show, what she stated is that <laughs> it's, it's less about it being about sex Next. and more of it mm -hmm. being in tune with or connected to a person and being able to learn and evolve with that person. Mm -hmm. That's what she stated. It has nothing to do with the sex. And she also stated as well, if she ended up being with one person, man or woman, it doesn't matter. Right. So she said she's open to polyamory, but it doesn't I'm have saying. to be that That's way. She's but I don't think that make her all over the place. She wants to do it all. No, I think that makes that her... That let me say, yeah, I want to <laughs> have threesomes. 
I don't want to fucking also be with a wife though. Sometimes, you know what I'm saying? I, when know, I feel like it. I know. I want to love right her, now. but oh my god! If that, a dude said a, that, y'all be like, man, shut your know, ass no, up. No, 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 no because right people do that. That's that's swinging. That's fucking swinging to be married to somebody, but to say, oh, so occasionally. Cool nope, that's not what I'm saying. But I'm what I'm saying is that exists. That ain't and my bedroom. Not oh. Okay, so y'all not cool with it? No. Oh my god! This is an opinion thing. No, I'm just telling you because you're saying that it it makes her all over the place and it does not because there's definitely a such thing as swinging where couples are married no, but they're you, very but, in but we're not only talking about swinging they're though very, but that's what that she is she says she wants to swing she didn't and say have she threesomes. Didn't say she, no, you said wow. <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> hey, brother. She said, hey, brother, you oh know what you And be married to a man and a woman. She wants to have it all is what it sounds like. Uh, she sounds like a dude. This is what dudes say so when, what? when they're making so excuses what? to cheat. So? What's wrong this with is, that? So what? All right. All right. All right now. <laughs> no, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. So what? So let me and know. And for an 18-year-old girl to be saying this just sounds She's like. She's an 18-year-old woman. She's a young woman. She's a young woman. Clearly. Clearly not. She's a young woman. Let's Clearly see. not, man. I, maybe I don't want to even be there. I, I know what goes on to the property. I'm about to say, folks, we smash them high the bleaches and everything in high school. But that's all. Hey, like thing. I said, like I started off my thing with nothing. What school is that? Foster. Oh, Foster. Yeah. Foster. Every school in, in, has that. On Scott in Third Ward. Where? Oh wow. Every school has that. I've been to Foster Elementary. We did like a program over there. But right. I mean, back to what you were saying, I don't think it has to do with anything being all over the place. It's just like people know what they want, and then on top of that, it's like it'd be killing. Did she me. say anything about marriage? She she, she did. Does I she she wants to marry a man and a woman? No, no. She said she, that she was she's open to. She's what state would let you do to, that? She said she's open oh. to marrying either. She has like no preference. Her. But she thing said that she is, would like to have a man and she, a woman. No, she. Uh, yikes! That's what you said. Hey, Ooh, you need to, oh my you know god! Oh. You know what you need yeah. to do? You need to you need to watch the interview, brother, because you yeah, over here, you all over the place. The all right, all right. Okay, Lord. We don't right, have the right, time right. to fully thoroughly explain right, this to right, you. You right. are all over the place. You talk about her, you all Willow, over the place. Willow, just get your just 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 Girl, Willow, keep doing do your you. thing. Get girl. yourself together. And yeah. then and then here's the other thing too on the back end, because you're saying like she doesn't know what she wants. Honestly, the best way to figure out what you want is it's to have try it what out. you don't want. Yep. You have to figure out what you don't like in order to know what you do like. Yeah, and you have to try it out. So That's with, just like the same thing with fucking food. You don't know if you like it or if you don't true. like it until you try it. I'm not judging. Well, I'm now, definitely not judging. Now, you don't well, have to try everything. There's some things that you know I'll pan <laughs> right. you right. don't like before right. trying it. Right. I do not like listen. shredded coconut, green peas, and uh, pineapple. But... That's neither here nor there. Facebook, we just want to thank you for joining our conversation. Um, yeah, thank you for joining us on Hashtag. Please check us out. We on everything. We on iTunes, uh, SoundCloud. We're on Stitcher. We're on all that shit. So check us out as well as go to yeah. the, the uh, boom right there. Check us out right there. Uh, if you want to have the option of both visual and um, audio, go to iTunes. And yeah. when you search us in iTunes, you guys listen, you have to search the hashtag symbol as the H. That is how we're set up. The first H in hashtag is the hashtag symbol. Yes. Then the rest of it is letters, okay? Yes. You get both options, visual and audio. Yep. All right? Yep. And if you want us, just hit us up on IG. We will come to your show, your family gathering, your barbecue, whatever you want us to do we will be there yes okay thank you <laughs> bye you guys anyway. okay anyway we're gonna roll into our next topic uh this one is rather interesting as well and this is mr lavar ball okay i we, love this man we have seen him in the media for so many different things but just recently he was on an episode of first take okay and the controversy around that is that he was speaking to the commentator molly Quirum. I didn't say her last name. He was speaking to her and um, she interjected <laughs> into the conversation and she said, um, bloop, 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 where am I? Can I switch gears for a moment? And his response to that was, you can switch gears with me anytime. She then did a slight pause, made a little bit of a face and had a little chuckle and said, let's stay on topic here. Then boom. 
Next day, ESPN comes out and says that, hey, you know what? That comment was inappropriate. We feel away. We feel like you disrespected her, and you are now banned from ESPN. Damn. Can you play he, the whole clip again? He then goes back to say that, uh, well, actually, he stated it beforehand, and I feel like uh, a little bit of the, how should I say, the downfall came mm. with Stephen, Stephen F. Smith's uh, response, wait, too, because as soon as he said it, he was like, oh, come on, man. Like, you know, he kind of fed into making it inappropriate. <laughs> Um, but again, LeVar Ball went on to say that he did not mean anything sexual by, uh, by what he said. And he also put out a little, uh, video clip stating that the only way that he would hit on her is if she broke into his house at night. Steve <laughs> Smith looked like a German. That was his response to that. So I want to know what you guys think. We've seen a, a, quite a few celebrities, um, Des Bryan, um, in particular, that's my, that's take to social media to say that she intentionally misinterpreted what he said and that she's just playing the victim. So I don't know if you guys think that he had some type of sexual undertone to that um, or if it was just a misunderstanding. Go ahead, guess. Did she say, she say, she, what did Stephen A say right after he said it? So here's what happened. She said, can I switch gears for a moment? Right, right. LeVar Ball said, you can switch gears with me anytime. Okay, well, and then literally, like, right them. after it, literally right after it happened, Stephen F. Smith was like, oh, come on, man. Like, that okay, was so his Steve, reaction so to Stephen it. So caught it. So I yeah. feel like I feel as though if had he had not said anything, then it would have just rolled over a little bit. Now she may have also because immediately following that, she kind of like she did like one of those yes. and like chuckled yes. yeah. like let's stay on topic. Like right. you're tripping, right? Um. So okay, so they both reacted when it was said. Yes. Okay. Yeah. See, well, it was another guy it there been, too. It would have been another like thing. It would have been another thing if nobody reacted and then it became a thing after. Right. But. They reacted. It was truly a thing. It's not. It's not hype. I think that the way Lavar is, like it could be played. He, I think that he literally played it right on the fence, but like falling over into the the, the inappropriate side of the fence, mm -hmm. literally like tipping over. But he hasn't fallen all the way off right. yet, because Lavar's kind of guy is like, well, shoot, you can you can throw whatever on me. I'm ready. That it can mean that. It can mean he said. You could throw whatever at me. You know I'm always ready for whatever question you have. But because he's tipping over, which means he's like 60, 70, 70% over, it's obviously, you know, also like a double entendre, right? Like, shoot, you could switch gears with me anytime. Like, yeah, it I mean, just should have been. I think he just pushed it a little too far because he's just so comfortable of a guy. He says whatever. America loves him because he says whatever. He's popular. Because he says whatever the hell comes to his head. And that was one of the moments where that happened. And that was just a, a moment where it went too far. Everybody has a moment where it goes too far. So that was one of those times. Well, I feel you. However, comma, I feel like, <laughs> first of all, you were fully cognizant and aware of what you were saying. So to mm -hmm. me, regardless of reaction or not, you need to you need to take responsibility for that sexual comment and men do that all the time men always try oh to slide stuff in shit Ugh. i don't even want, one of my old bosses did that to me and yeah. i was like you know what i didn't know and i didn't react to it but i was still bothered we were still cool but i was still bothered like you have to tell them you so just have to but it was behind them. closed doors right? it was behind closed okay. doors but that's not the it point doesn't matter. so, so that, that, that to not, me that's the that's only to the me point. that's the only like little like little thing in there is that he, if he really meant something by it he would have done it off air but that's the you know what I mean. Goes, Has he ever made? But we don't. But it goes. I think like know like that. when Trump got caught for saying um you know fuck uh, hit her in the pussy or whatever the fuck he said. Grab her. That, right that was pussy. a that was a he didn't know he was being recorded. So if this was behind closed doors and it was like a hidden thing, Mike, I'll say he hundred percent fell off that fence. But because of the fact that I mean, why would he say that? I mean, come on. But why would he say that on national air trying to throw something at her? In that sense of you saying it was an undertone, trying to throw something at her, acting like he didn't know what he was throwing. No, I didn't. Maybe say after that. the show, was she gonna come and say, "Huh"? So them girls you were talking about, what were you talking about? He knew she wasn't gonna do that. So that's what I'm saying. I don't know for hundred percent sure that it was. I just think that it was. I have friends that play too much, I think it was just and I think dope. it was one of them moments where he yeah. just played too much. But, that's, he, but he that's not, what, I don't think he wants to mess with her. But I don't think he cares to mess with her. No, we're not. I'm not taking it that far. I'm saying what I'm saying is, either way, it was disrespectful. He, either way, he was he was cognizant and yeah. knew what he was saying. Yeah. Just like how most men know what they're saying, regardless, it shouldn't matter if it's in a public space or if it's behind closed doors. That doesn't matter. At the end of the day, what's inappropriate is inappropriate. 
And if you and if you knew, my mama always said, if you have to really sit and think about what you say before you say it, maybe you shouldn't say it. True. If you really have to sit here and double, like, you know what? If I say this, I do this all the time. I'm an asshole. I have to sit here and I don't usually double back until after the fact. I be like, damn, I said that. Yeah, that's fucked up. Mm -hmm. Let mm -hmm. me apologize mm -hmm. for it. So, I mean, but most people are very cognizant and aware. So, this I don't think true. the forum matters. At the end of the day, if you are aware of you said some fucked up shit, mm -hmm. it doesn't take away of you saying fucked up shit. I mean, <laughs> so, I'm kind of playing devil's advocate I because know. I understand both sides of it as somebody who gets hit on regularly. I understand it. You know, I feel like she... How should I say? I kind of feel like after it was like, oh, what he said was inappropriate, she kind of took it and ran with it and started playing victim on bit. it. She definitely took it and ran with it and started playing victim with it Victim with it once she realized that people felt like, oh, damn, what he said was inappropriate. Because I don't think that if anybody else would have said, oh, that was inappropriate, if they would have been like, oh, that's just him, sh nothing would have come from it. She would have just like let that shit roll off her shoulder. Because one, you've had interviews with this man before. He's never said anything inappropriate to you. He's also had you... He's had interviews with your husband. He's never been disrespectful to him. So I feel as though fully what he said has a li I felt I feel like, you know, I understand as to what he said has some undertone of like, I wouldn't say sexual like innuendo. I would say more of like flirtatious vibe. I don't think I, I do get that part of it you know what i'm saying as a woman you know what i mean but on the back end of it i do feel like she definitely took that shit took that ball and ran that hole <laughs> out that you know what i'm saying like she touched down on that hole like oh everybody got my back on it oh Gu gucci i'm gonna run this hole until i, until I can't run it no more she probably like, i definitely feel and then when i went back to look at what she said about it she's like oh well if he gives a public apology like it'll be fine why you gotta give a public apology bitch if you feel like he she really didn't mean side. anything about it. like you Come on, bro. Like, yeah. Come on, bro. Like, you, you wanted to run that situation. Period. If it was another term, if it was like a real sexual term, switch gears is not a sexual term, right? If it was like a term that has to do with dome or like, for example, like, switch jump, gears is sexual. or you can jump my balls or whenever you want. Be. Or you can, you know what I'm saying? Exactly. It's not, it's. When I think but you know, you know when people say, you know when people, but you know when people say a a phrase and you maybe have to say, I'm nasty because my mind is thinking of something very light if, switching. Exactly, if somebody I'm, not, I'm, me not, that, I'm not, I'm not thinking that. I don't know how nasty and, and you the are. Only, I'm thinking, I'm but I'm not I thinking that. that. But the only way I say that too, because if I'm having a conversation mm -hmm. with somebody and we're supposed to be talking about business, and then they tell me, "Oh, you can switch gears with me anytime," I'm definitely gonna take that as you're if flirting with me. It was behind closed I'm, doors. I don't give a fuck if it's behind closed doors. If you were sitting right here on the show right. as a guest and you said that to me, I'm taking it as a flirtatious vibe. And I don't you care. would you have called him out right then and there? No, that's that's you, after, I, that's I'm after, not No, you won't. Right. No, that's you won't. You would just I'm laugh not, and keep. I'm not gonna lie that's to after you. The I'm not. I not I swear to God, I'm, I'm not gonna lie to you. I probably I would definitely have one of those. Hey. Do y'all uh -huh. think that she said and something to him after the show or after social media made it big? Uh, you know well, what I'm saying? Well, she said, was it well, like she, that's the power of social media? You're gonna understand this. I don't know. Maybe we make we we magnify everything. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, she just said that. However, I my thing is this: if it was me and most, I don't know. I can't say most women, me. If someone makes me uncomfortable, I don't give a good goddamn if it's at work, Lord's house, here, I mean, she church said, Come house, our right? house, That's all she house said. any house. I don't care where we at. At the end of the day, if it makes me uncomfortable as a person, am I going to bust you out in front of everybody? No, because I ha I'm about sense of the quorum. However, I have no problem pulling your ass aside. Hey, my G. You was talking about my titties. I appreciate that. Yeah. You I caught that. To the side. You put your son, Molly. All he said was, we can switch gears anytime. He didn't say nobody had titties. All he said was, we can switch gears. At with the him. end of the day, I don't think it was I, enough if it to. makes me uncomfortable. No, put yourself in the shoes real quick. If that made me uncomfortable. Would it have? It possibly would have because we're on TV. I'm trying to give you a, give this interview and you like, oh, yeah, I switch gears. Okay, nigga. All right, we're going to table that no, shit I for later. All right. After. Like, in my head, I'm going to still keep professional. Okay, LaVar. You don't think so it's hindsight because she got the story already? No, that has then. nothing to do with I anything. I after because, one, I feel like. You sure. I, yes, yes, I would have because, first of all, I'm a professional. I'm already Hell in yeah. a realm of something that's more geared toward men. I'm on fucking ESP. I'm on a sports channel. So, first of all, you're going to take me serious as a reporter and you're not going to be sitting up here sexually exactly. 
commenting on me because that makes everybody else feel like they can they come can do on the it. show and do it too. Hello. We finna scratch that shit right now. Period. But he wasn't That's sexually we commenting. Do. It doesn't matter. If I feel as though other people may have perceived it as you're sexually coming at me, then they feel as though that they can do it too and you're not about to do that. But see, but it goes back to a lot of guys and I'm not putting this on every man, but it goes back to a lot of men. They feel like they can say these things with and some type of underlying comment and be like, I've oh, heard, well, I've heard oh, of some well, guys babe, saying oh, some babe, crazy you're stuff. Yeah, you're sensitive. No, I'm not first sensitive. All, first of all, don't call me babe. Exactly. I'm not sensitive. Yep. Like, my G, you really about to make me just call I, 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 I would have to agree have with you because I, so, I've heard, girl, I've taught, I've, sp- I've spoken to women and they've told me things that guys say and I'm like, really? Yeah, people are he out really of fucking line. He really just said that They're like the first time he met you? Like, really? And so, yeah, I, I, I agree with that. And I, I and like from I said, from Jump Lavar is just inappropriate. He says a whole bunch of I love, stuff. but you know what? I will so, say I do like him. And that's like why him. we love him. That's it, why we love him. That's no that's di- right. But that's no different from, well, no, that's kind of different. But People will say way else. worse on TV. Let's be they real. They definitely have. That wasn't, that wasn't even in the top now, tier now, 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 of was, bad things that people have said. I'm so true. Let's, so not, I'm, let's, but, not, let's not make it so worse this, than what it is. I feel as though them banning him from ESPN is a fucking stretch. Well, I think they'd be looking for a reason to ban him. Probably. Probably. Because he just say whatever the fuck he wants to say. He's going to go start his own ESPN. That's yeah, what Olivar is. Yeah, and that's yeah. what makes him so he was like NBA is messing with me. I'm gonna go start my own NBA. Now he started his own junior NBA. Kids are trying to get into that thing every year. Like Yeah. Like I feel cares? like I ESPN feel... can blackball you, your kids are still gonna ball their ass off. Lamelo is always gonna ball. And he's still gonna look like a T Rex at the end of the day. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga's side profile looks like a straight T Rex. No, Lavar Ball. <laughs> I wish we could pull his up his side profile on the show. <laughs> but he looks like a T Rex, bro. Oh and my I was god. Just like, yeah, I mean, how me. often is he even on ESPN? Who cares? I mean, Y'all are so crazy. Who cares? There's many other stations. But. Okay. Anyway, so honestly, we are a little bit out of time, but we can go like five more minutes if you want to. And touch on, I mean, like, we have two different topics to touch on. Yeah, yeah there's two. So what do you want to do, Chris? You want to touch on these last two or you want to just close it out? No, we. what are the last we two? We have the XOL Max magazine release cover for um, the artists for the freshman class. And then we have the Houston um, Sugar Babies. What do you guess? Which one do you want to talk about? I mean, we can close Maybe it out. Touch for on sh- one of them and yeah. Just be done. yeah, yeah, yeah. No, we can close it out with shits and giggles for the um, Sugar Daddies thing if oh, y'all want to. You want to talk about Sugar Daddies? What is the topic? Real quick. It's Sugar Daddies. So Houston, um, this is according to SeekingArrangements.com. Houston it has the most sugar daddies in all of Texas. I believe it. With 182 registered. Elijah, please pull that picture up for me for the areas that have the most. Um, registered on SeekingArrangements.com for sugar babies. Listen, the the number one d- place to find them, according to this list, is downtown. And that <laughs> makes perfect perfect sense to me <laughs> um working downtown that makes perfect sense to me spring makes no sense because who the fuck is in spring minute, but do downtown <laughs> and uptown for sure King makes Wood sense to me out there i used to work out kingwood it's shitload of money oh yeah it's, it's, it's out money out there but here's the thing like there are a lot of men with money out here in Texas and Houston uh speaking specifically so i definitely see that i, I see that too. as a theme I do too. Just I the fact that. that we have the oil and gas, and there's a lot of people here who sit on boards, and you know that are executives and things. Um, I mean, hell, the lady that just bought uh, Tex- Texas Monthly. I know we're just pulling it up, but the lady that bought Texas Monthly. I can't think of her name. Randa Duncan, whatever. Williams. She's a billionaire, and she lives right here in Houston. Yeah, it's her, a lot yeah, of money so, out here in Houston. I mean, Houston is. Hey, big money Texas. That, well, big that's money Beaumont, Texas. But still, big um, money Texas. Did they say sugar, only sugar daddies or sugar mamas as well? Oh, wow. <laughs> I, you know what? This is I just, wouldn't be surprised. This is just sugar this daddies, daddies, okay? I wouldn't this be surprised about the mamas, though. But I'm sure there's some sugar mamas out here. I'm I was not tons. surprised either. They are. Not surprised. Oh, I've seen them. Oh, they oh, exist. They, oh, they tried to get you. <laughs> fit daddy. They tried to get fit daddy and be like, look, what do you need? I will buy ghosts for you. Yeah, but they don't buy me shit, though. But what? That's not a, that's know, not a right? sugar mama situation. I mean, situation. not really, but, you know what I mean, just a little bit. I've had the I'm offers. Just I'm just I've had I've offers I've definitely as well. had the offers, you know, yeah. and I've always declined. I've always declined. And then the one time I was like, you know what, I might just hone in on this shit. 
I declined again because he made it very, they very, very, too. like, you know, Obvious. uh apparent that, listen, at some point you're going to have to let me shoot the club up. And I was just like, whoa, buddy. Shoot the club up? Well, not, a no. No, no, I know. Shoot the club not up. shoot the club no, up. But he want to lie. He ain't trying to just wait at the door. He want to go in there. I, I know what you you're know what I'm saying? saying? So I was just kind of like, so, nah. Because I was like, listen, you want to go on movie days? You want to go to dinner? You want somebody to be there to, like, hear you talk? Fine. I can do all of that. But he was like, most, nah. Most nah. of my offers actually come from my family. So let me interview y'all. Oh, wow. Okay. Have y'all, have, have, <laughs> has any of y'all ever accepted any kind of money from, like, any kind of sugar daddy? No. Don't lie. Don't lie. No. It's okay. I have mean, you? I've no. accepted money, but it wasn't from a sugar daddy. So I don't know what you mean. What was it from? Uh, were you actually together with him? It was from a him? suitor. No, we were not in a relationship. It was from a suitor who, you know, just like Tip said, wanted the company. I just had to be jazzy. They wanted the company. They wanted me to go with them to, you know, when they had things for work or if they had, you right. know, nice dinners and things like that. And I would just show up and have these ladies up and <laughs> sit there and look and look good and just be snapped. Do you think there's any situations where it's okay? Now, I've definitely gotten gifts. Now, there was, I've gotten a oh. lot of gifts. There was no, there was no, there was no sex <laughs> involved because I realized he was crazy. And I realized the things he wanted to do, I was not down for that. And I was <laughs> going to do it anyway. So I left. <laughs> so I accepted the free meals and some so of the when you say gifts, like what do you mean you accept the gifts? Like um, people just I've had, send you yeah, stuff? I've had mm -hmm. no. I mean like guys that um, are like, oh, you know, like let me take you out or let me do this for you, blah blah blah. And I'm just like, no, no, you're cool, but no, 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 no. Like I've definitely had them approach me with gifts and things of that nature, trying to gift? like entice I have me. I've oh, I've taken, I've, I've taken, taken quite, years. I've I've taken them, not all of them. There was some I definitely. Some I declined because I'm like no because yeah. you feel like if I take this gift from you that's your open door we're not doing that oh. but yeah. um, I've definitely had some gifts uh, you know it, yeah. to me um, and with that like enticement like oh listen you know what I'm saying I keep asking you so I'm gonna give you this but there's more where it comes from mm. you know just hit my line they just wanna no. take it out <laughs> no <laughs> if these guys any of these guys that came to you if they were attractive would that make a difference I mean, no, because I'll say this. It makes a difference as far as more of the, you know what? I like this. This is nice. But if, but at the end of the day, for me, personality is, I'm very big on personality connection. So regardless of how good you look, if you are a fucking asshole, right. and most people that have money that are good looking mm -hmm. are fucking assholes, um, I just know where I can hold you. So it's like, okay, you want me to be the face? Oh, you bought me a purse? Great. Okay, well, after this purse and after this, he's showing up, I'm done. Thank after you. this purse. <laughs> you know, I don't, I don't know. I don't I mean, ask for it. It's just fucking there. I guess I'm a little, like, Like, I don't if know. this guy has all this money and he's how you, I mean, he's kind of guy that you like anyway. It's like, okay, I might as well just try well, to it's date different. Him. It's different if I like you, you know what I'm saying? Then, like, obviously, that's diff that's not a sugar, baby sugar daddy thing. Right. That's me liking you and you just different. wanting to cater to me. That's, yep. to that's totally different. That's but, totally uh, different. But I don't know. Like, I'm just not. So like, technically, as long as y'all together, whatever money he spends is okay. Yeah, I mean, I feel like if, no, I'll say this: <laughs> if we if we're together, but we're doing for each other, though. We're to, yes, and I'm I'm definitely that type of person that you know, if you do for me, I'll do for you. Like I'm not one sided by any means. Even yeah. if I know like you really don't give a fuck if I'm doing anything for you because it's like you have it, I'm still going to do for that's you true. just because that's the type of person that I am. Agreed. I don't want it to be one sided too because I get a little weird too if it's like you always are like buying stuff for me. Like I don't, I get I a little. Someone. Weird. Tell me that. I get a little weird. I I've definitely had that happen. Like I was yeah. dating this one guy, and he just wanted to pay for everything, everything, everything. Every time we went somewhere, even if it was like my ideas, like oh, I'm just pay like no, like let me pay for stuff sometimes uh -huh. because if not, it feels like you're. I don't know. It just feels like. I don't know. I don't yeah, know. It's a little time. weird. But I it's get that because I'm that person as well. I I usually pay for everything just because for me, I've, I've just had experiences. I just don't want nobody to throw nothing back in my face. So it's like, well, I got it. That too. So um, don't worry about it. Just. I you know, I know on top of that, I do it because I want to do it. Like you know this. what I'm saying? I, yeah, I'm about to say, what's going on here? <laughs> I was like, what, what are you doing? Uh, yeah. <laughs> for sure we are. But, mm. I mean, for me, it's just like I do it because at the end of the day, the thing I would say is this. It's hard to buy somebody who can buy themselves anything. And that's yeah, the issue that's I have had, I have experienced a lot in my past mm. relationships. I've dated people who way, way, way more than I did. Yeah. And I was just like... Sure. And for them, the good thing that I really liked was the fact that the small things matter. 
regardless of yes this person can buy them whatever the fuck they wanted to but because people have different love languages right like exactly and my love service. language is not gifts mine's is actually quality time that's exactly. my number one love Mine language. Service. gifts is actually that's my number two gifts is actually my last and acts of service is my number two so yeah i always feel like um i don't know it's i guess it's just like well, I can't say that because I definitely attract all kind of guys. But generally, guys that I talk to, they really have things going for themselves. So sure. it's like I don't have to. So when I'm approached with that, oh, I can get you whatever you want. I'm just kind of like, that's what I do. So I can find somebody who like me actually and give me whatever I want too. So you approaching me with this, like I'm gonna throw it on you. I'm gonna spin it, spin it, spin it. Like that shit ain't really like. Do y'all have any friends? Uh, it's not sugar like babies? doing it for I me. I definitely actually, have had some friends that were sugar babies. I, do. I don't have any. Do you have now. anything against that? No, no. Actually, my, um, I have a friend of a friend. She actually had a sugar baby conference recently in Houston. Oh wow! Yeah, it was at Hotel there. Mm. And they actually pulled some of our Hotel Darius is the appropriate place Baby It's, <laughs> it's the appropriate but, place But I mean But it's certain It's certain things I know for me It was packed There was a lot of girls there Yeah a lot of people Actually registered for it And she is a certified Sugar baby I don't want to put her name out Maybe one day I want to get her on this show But that's another story um, But I mean for me personally It's like I feel like At the end of the day Folks can't come to me About that money shit Because when folks I'll be like nigga I can buy this shit. Like, you fuck sure? your money. Are you sure? It doesn't matter. Sure it doesn't matter. <laughs> it but never, material don't matter. mean shit it to me. Matter if I can it doesn't matter how much. It doesn't really matter. Listen, I'm way different. I'm way Ooh, different because. I feel like I'm way different because even like when I decide that I'm gonna get married and whoever I'm, t- I don't even want like a big fancy ass ring. Like give me a band. I don't even want. No give me way. a band. I don't want no way. Nah, want no all of that, tape, like all of that, so, fa- all of that fancy fancy. Talking about this, like, I know. I want oh. something very simple. I want to <laughs> save my vows. All of that money that you're gonna spend on that big ass ring. If you if you yeah. still want to spend it on me, that's cool. Transfer it to oh, my. She making if a you still want to listen, listen. All of that, like you want to buy a big ring or some shit. You ain't got to spend all that on a ring. I don't even want that shit. I want a fucking band. I do want a band. Guess what? If you want to spend it and you feel like you're still obligated to spend it on me because I ain't getting no ring, just transfer that shit to my bank account. I'm going to flip that shit. We're going to have a business in it. So I'm not That's really about all that other here. shit. Business. Like, if we're going to if we gonna be, like, Back. catering to each other and all of that shit, like, guess, listen, we can definitely go into the relationship with one having more than the other, but at the end of the day, if we're going to have an actual relationship, that shit going to balance out and we both going to be big money shit in this, huh? Big money I ain't got time all for all of that. You know what I'm saying like you ain't about to be out here trying to do me like oh you living off me i'm taking care of you That's whatever like nah fuck that fuck yeah that. i don't want a wedding <laughs> i talk about it We're all different. the time i don't care for a wedding um i just honestly want whoever wants to marry me to surprise me on some shit hawaii is one of my favorite places to go so hopefully yeah. you know just like we on vacation oh babe i don't set this up you oh shit we get married at this day exactly cool. and if Man, it's really it. real if it's really real we don't that's need no proposal my nigga and the money we that goes no on wedding we just can tell put me you want to marry me on, and we can invest we can put that shit on property we can sit here exactly. and do so many things with this money and then that's so crazy I'm to me because people be like trying to spend all this money on their fucking wedding and they be in so much debt after that like Maybe I already they got be talking money. about oh we gonna get a house like, oh wait your imagination right. your credit is fucked and you out here owing on the wedding you just had how you gonna get a house like y'all priorities be fucked up but anywho like i said if it's really real we don't even need to have no engagement my nigga like if we know that we're yeah, gonna we be together. Yeah. We getting married, straight up. And I'm at the age right now where this shit just happened. So it's, it's just be like, hear. whatever. I mean, that's good to hear. That's refreshing to hear. Um, guys, guys go through a lot of you know insecurities about money and I having curious. what they want to have before they get married and blah blah. So that's really refreshing to hear because you know if you really mean what you're saying, then you know a lot of us guys, you know, a lot of us have hope. We're gonna make it. Yeah, no, that's those guys really believe they need to have like a certain. You don't have to have a shit of money, baby. We can sit here and make this shit work. This, you gotta do that. The most ironic thing is, is that when I tell that to guys, they're more the ones that are like, "Oh, I want to have a wedding." I'm like, "You bitch! <laughs> you <said they laughs> you wear the dress down my fucking aisle. <laughs> like what? Oh, I want to have a wedding. I don't. Want <laughs> oh my look, god! If you're, for example, or let's, let's really go back small. to the Nigerian thing now. If you're Nigerian, now, how, more than likely you're not getting a choice on whether you're having I was a wedding about to say, or not. Now, we, if I'm Nigerian, my brother tried it. Suck the shit up and had my brother tried it. My mom was like, okay. She was, not, playing, she was playing the role at first, like, okay. And then she just, she was like, it was her wedding. She started playing bright too. Uh, see, I'm no, okay no, no, no. And they no. just let it happen. And so what's, what some of us started doing is we'll let our parents do the traditional wedding mm. 
and then we'll go to like Italy or Spain or Mexico and do the uh, destination wedding, yeah. and that will be the one that's for us. Right. But a lot of times we don't have to say so because they pay for everything. That's why I'm about to say. That's why I said Nigerian weddings. Everybody I'm down for everything. For it. Child, if it's gonna be all of that, just tell me the date and I will show up because I don't want no parts in it. Nah. I don't want to plan it. I don't want to go through the headache of planning it. I don't want to think about like the money to put into. I don't want to do that. Listen, if your parents insist I that think we your have, mind will change. if your parents insist that we have a wedding, fine. Y'all plan it. Tell me what day we having it, and I show up there. Well, speaking of having it, uh, but we uh, we're done. Boot camp. Yes. See, so every Saturday, nine a.m. at Herman Park. Shout out that IG as well, Elijah. Uh, let's rip and roll. IG at Atari A T A R H E. Follow our boot camp page at T X F I T. Join T X Fit net. It's only ten dollars a month. You get some of the best work you ever had in your life, straight up. Oh, wow. That's via me dancing. Um. Yeah, so join our TX Fit and then follow us at TX Fit, $10 a month. Tell a friend, bring a mat. We have water, we have fruits, guaranteed to burn 600 plus calories. It's great. For sure, bring a mat. Okay. I'm telling y'all, I've been. Awesome. It's actually a really, really Fun good workout, you. you guys. So even if you feel like, oh, I'm not really ready for them, I'm not prepared. I mean, like, although everybody is, like, moving at the same pace, you can still go at your same, your own pace, you know what I'm saying? Take your breaks or whatever. Mm-hmm. I think you should definitely go. And if you're, like, one of those people like myself, I do home workouts um, because going to the gym, I really haven't, like, honed down on it yet. So, you know, leading up to that boot camp is kind of like the best way to close out your workout week. I'm just saying. But we are definitely out of time, you guys. So we are closing out the show. It has been a really good show today. Um, I appreciate all the commentary. I appreciate our guests for jumping in um, with us today. So you guys, as always, make sure that you tell a friend to tell a friend to tell that friend. Subscribe to the show. Come back each and every week. We're here every Wednesday at 6 o'clock. Uh, it's your girl, Tiffany Noco. Go ahead and hit me on Instagram. And we're going to go ahead and take it out for today you know what i'm saying what's going on chris yeah so um once again like she said i'm not gonna say thank yous and all that stuff thank you to the nigerian wolverine right here for being a guest uh. today on the show it's your girl <gasps> chrissy bet you can find me here at sure underscore la underscore chris so we want to thank you for joining us today on this wise cracking wednesday so do you be you stay true and we out we see you next week deuce bye yes, sir. i just sent you